Brett. That ain't bad. 28 for 28.4 now. 28.5. 28.5. Morning, boys. How are we feeling this morning? How are we feeling this morning? Oh, we're doing good. <laughs> How'd you sleep last night? Oh, wonderful. Without your air mattress. Oh, yeah, lots of clothes, dude. <laughs> Nathan, Slept like a rock. better than Ohio so far? So far, so good. Slept <laughs> like a rock, like a rock. Yeah, that's about it. What's the game plan for today, Josh? Fill them in, man. I really don't know. Just We're walk. scouting. We're scouting. Just walk a long ways. <laughs> Maybe find something. Yeah, basically we're splitting up three different directions. For the most part. And uh, groups of two to groups of three if we meet up with uh, some other guys. We know we got some people already out in front of us that drove through last night, so we're going to see where they're camped and see if we can get away from them and where they might be scouting, see if we can find some fresh sign and not get hurt in the process. So that's today's plan. Stick along for the ride. Okay, we're about two miles into our first morning, and we still haven't finished getting to where we probably could have got with the truck last night. We want to cover about four to five miles deep today. So a 10 mile round trip probably, 8 to 10 mile, but we still haven't got in front of the people that were came down last night. Right now you can see this peak right here, we're planning on going back and around, back up into there. Get on the north of the hills, north facing slopes, but that's, her, that's our plan right now. Mile and a half in, another three and a half ish, three to go, something. Yeah. Yeah. And let me tell you what, the last time I went out here, conditioning makes a big difference. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you know, and nice packs. Right off, get the legs strong and uh, so far so good. Difference. Yeah, so far so, so good. far. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we found that truck. He uh, or she definitely took off earlier than us, or same time, but it was a mile and a half ahead of us. So we made it past there. We got to the wilderness area, and um, we are diving in. We are trying. We're on the hill. We, I was pointing out earlier. There. Yeah, it is getting thick now. It's feeling like it's feeling alky, alkish. But uh, we found a couple old rubs, at least from this year, but older. Nothing new, major fresh sign. But uh, we're starting to sweat now. <laughs> Makes my mustache sweat. <laughs> Blueberries, dude. He's sleeping. We lost our hiking path. So now we're really being slow, trying to find our way. Eric is, uh, Trying to find his way across the river. I was able to cross there because I got taller boots than him. He's gonna work his way around and cross right there. So the problem with liking hunting and fishing so much is that I keep looking at this and looking for trout at the same time. I wish I would have packed a little rod with me. Oh well, keep on marching on. Tape in case I fall because these legs aren't the best they used to be. Just <laughs> we're good. You alright? Did it hurt? Alright. No, it definitely wasn't a bull. So you probably couldn't see on the phone, I was getting my camera out to film uh, Eric's uh, wind checker. And we've been standing here for about two minutes now. And we were talking about how the thermal switched here because there's a drainage. So our scent was pulling down and I heard something thump and I look over there and there was two. We're going to go check, but we thought, I think they're, I think they're elk. I think it was a mama and her baby. And they're big. Because it was heavy. It's that heavy. was a heavy sound. It's like a freaking horse around the way. Yeah. So, we may, we're, we're starting to get into some good spots now. We got out of that marshy nastiness. And we might be, we might be coming into some spots. We got caught down the bottom. It was not an ideal spot to go. Our next map showed a, showed a trail that really wasn't there. Um, it may have been back in the day, but it's all blown over and real marshy. And we spent, I don't know, hours in there <laughs> trying to get out, honestly. We got a good lunch in there, at least. We have to get a good lunch, and we came up with a new idea. And it'll stop being little pansies and staying low and trying to make it work our way around. 
Um, so we're gonna go straight up. But right here, we're gonna take a little time to glass this other side, just to make sure you're not overlooking anything, so. I mean, that's um, a south-facing slope, but you never know. I mean, this is new to us, so we could find a quirk in the system. Yep. Hey, anyway, it's fun. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is steep. Heart rate's thumping now, but we got to the peak we wanted to be, and we'll be able to walk glass for about an hour or so that way here and back there's some good fingers here there's a good fingers up here we got a little steeper incline up here but we're gonna glass that too see if we can't find some sort of activity or some sort of sign tons of mule deer sign here tons Quite enough vegetation that doesn't seem like on that side. On that um, side? Over there. Yeah, I agree. You see, too rocky. But I say we push this one over and see what's on the other side. Yep. I don't know if you can hear me with this wind, but we glassed and we checked maps for about the last half hour, 45 minutes, got refueled a little bit. And we're deciding we don't like this area. We're going up there. We're only about 8,500 feet right here and we want to get to about 9,500. It's really warm. The little bit of elk sign we found is really old. Lots of mule deer sign, but it's just kind of, its as you can see behind us, it's really rocky. It's an old burn. There's not much regeneration. It's kind of frustrating, but that's what today's for, is for scouting. So off we go to another spot, another mile in. We're at four and a half for the day. where we were now we're here we're right here guaranteed <laughs> look who we found we're over 10 miles dude that climb up is stupid we just gotta go down a big hill. Yeah, it's a nice walk down. The way we did. Well, that's about two hours. If you, if, we, if you can stay on that trail, I wonder if that trail, if you can find that trail and stay on yeah, it. Yeah, I should have been on it, this trail the whole time. Yeah, if we could if we could have stayed on that trail, I think we would have taken us a lot less time. Because then we'd get back about four, which I think would be about perfect. Yeah. Well, that's what I was hoping to get back around four. Yeah, and then we were even contemplating packing up our stuff and heading back out this way and camping, so we were down here for the morning. I gotta get my uh, pack ready too. I got my nothing ready for tomorrow. Yeah, well, so we started heading back to camp. Josh and Nathan went uh, the way we came up, and uh, we Eric wanted to try and find a different way down, and I didn't want him to go by himself. I'm glad I didn't let him go by himself because now we're turning around. <laughs> it's what it is. It ain't too bad, but we're just exhausted from already doing six, seven miles today. So, got a, yeah, about six miles left. Yeah, <laughs> five and a half. Yeah. Well, we just met a couple locals. Nice guys. Called one of our guys Kevin. So, if, if you ever watch this, leave us a comment so we know who you were. Sounds like they're gonna end up going up to the same area we were just scouting. So I don't know if we're gonna end up going that way or not. I know no matter what we do, we're gonna end up running into people, but I don't wanna be a rude out of stater either. So that's the biggest thing. But there is a lot of ground out here. And uh, now it's starting to rain. We're only maybe two miles away now. We got through that nasty marsh, trails gone type kind of thing and now we're trucking it so okay where is my hand that is not where we were we were up there up in there we we're about 9,500 feet 
by the time we get back to the truck, we'll put we over. We're gonna oh, make it yet. Yeah, <laughs> we'll definitely put over 12 miles. But it's worth it. Maybe it's worth okay, it. Okay, nice. I mean, just look at this view. Five trucks down there now. Another truck where we are up top. We just can't convince Josh to drive his truck down here. It saves us two miles. That's two miles we could be hunting, Josh. At the end. At the end. Yeah. So, anyways, um, we're get, we're almost back to camp now. We're just meeting people all the way. Everybody's been friendly. That's good. Pretty cool state to be friendly in. Resting his feet, he's he's working up a good blister, I think. Yeah, I think maybe. Well, we'll be at 12 miles in for the day, so it'll be good. 